Hello and welcome to another Mash It Up series. I'm doing this in the small dilutions journal because I had one lying around and I hadn't been really using it so I thought okay I'll just use it for this. So I've got some Gina Aaron stencils here and my favourite colours yellow, magenta and teal. <laughs> I love the colour combination together and um, I'm just slapping the paint on because I just want to be happy <laughs> and slapping it on everywhere. <laughs> and um, I always like to use my painter so I've got the magenta going on and I, I love the colors of purple that it creates when it joins with the teal just gorgeous and I wanted to lighten it up here so I'm using some Naples yellow and I'm using all different types of paints but these are more dimensional paints rather than fluid acrylics and now I'm just really blending it the Dina Wakely brushes are really good for blending paints like that. It almost looks airbrushed. And uh, I wanted to use one of Gina's stencils and I'm going to use a white dilution spray. One of my other sprays was just... And doesn't that look pretty? <laughs> I always try and get all the sprays off straight away. The only thing with some of Jesus, uh, Gina's stencils is that some of the portions of them are so fine that if you spray that not all the fine details come through. So I'm just drying this up and uh, of course it dulls down as it dries. Blends in with the paint. A bit. But this is just my background. So now I'm going to add some more stencils in and I'm looking for some stencils here and choosing some more things and uh, I just I kind of wanted to do a mishmash of all sorts of things and uh, I just decided to randomly go in with a sponge first and start adding some lighter yellow in and just blending it in all of this is completely random like it really I'm just getting back into the groove I've had a, a rough time of late and I'm just, just creating for the joy of it so I'm using some white paint with checkerboard. This is one of Finnebear's stencils. I love the size of the checks on this and it just really suited me. An Andy Skinner tie tread stencil, one of my favourite stencils. I thought I'd spray. It's one of my homemade acrylic ink sprays on that. And um, I was just at this point just looking up um, sayings that I was going to do later on. So now I'm just starting to think about painting a face. And this is all come about with some additional, um, with some classes that I've been doing lately with Pauline Agnew where you're just doing expressive painting. And... Um, this is all just freehand, no drawing, and you can just see my process. So I'm going to leave it here and not talk you through this. This is I'm just going to put some music to this so that you can enjoy it.
Okay, so I forgot to turn the camera on for the first like minute that I was painting this hair, but you can see how quickly I'm doing it. I'm just using Payne's Grey, uh, teal and white, and I'm just kind of blending them, kind of not. Just putting the darker bits in and the lighter bits in where the light's hitting. Just blending them a little bit. Curly hair, flowy nice. hair, love it. <laughs> now I decided I'm going to marry in some of the colour palette into the face a little bit more. Add some teal in there. Make it believable. Add some colour. Whitening the eyes a little. Just doing those finishing touches. You do the stars and the eyes. Just finishing out those lips. So I stuff those lips up later and I'm like, here I am. I'm stuffing them up. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> no, you know, we all, we always do something. <laughs> so I'm letting that dry. Now I'm just going to use my leftover paint in my Speaker's Sermon Journal Notes journal. And I'm just spraying everything on to get a random pattern on the next uh, pages of my uh, Sermon Journal Notes. So it'll be interesting to see what I come up with for that. Each week is different. Whatever I'm feeling. <laughs> <laughs> and you used up all the paint. Clutch it, clutch it, <laughs> Love that. <laughs> so now I'm using a black uh, Tosca pen, a fine one, and just defining just a, a few. This is where I stuff the lips up. I mean, honest Peter. I just look at the shape of them and go, yuck. That didn't work. I end up fixing it though. <laughs> yeah, the lips look a bit garish. <laughs> I just, I have to sort it out in the end. I'm like, no, no, I can't do that. No, no. <laughs> so, yeah, you just see me fixing them and getting the shape right. I changed paint. I was using a fluid acrylic and now I'm using a dimensional acrylic. So now I'll just start adding some details in. A little bit of definition. And I'm okay with that. This writing quote I found, and uh, it really suits my life right now. Um, I'm changing directions and starting a new job coming the new week, and uh, it is a completely new period in my life. And to be honest with you, I'm very excited about it. And this that's what this page was all about new beginnings. So I'm just writing that with the black, the black Posca pen and a paint pen and I love it. And then I go and date it and this is another mash it up journal page. These are slightly smaller for me but I'm liking them. Ciao for now, see you next time.